Well, we're now getting towards the end of Rise of Lyric. You know it's getting serious because it's all dark and gloomy and how the hell did that get damaged? I don't know, like, last party looked fine on the way down here now. Like, it's on fire for some reason. Did Knuckles feel the urge to hit it? <laughs> yeah, well, you know how much he loves breaking things. <laughs> God, yeah. if that plane had stayed fixed the entire time, they could have just skipped a lyric with ease. Yeah, they could have done. But, yeah, this kind of final level, it's... It's got a good final level colour scheme. I like the whole black and red sort of yeah. thing going on. They've done it a little bit differently because normally levels that use this kind of colour scheme it's just like lava, isn't it? Whereas this is like more of a solid red with black. With the colour scheme you sort of expect the shadow to reappear. Well, he does at the end, doesn't he? But yeah. we're getting ahead of ourselves a bit there. But this level in particular, at least the first part of this level, it's basically the whole combat problem of this game thrown together. You're just waiting around for things to happen while you're fighting enemies and it's really a terrible way to kind of wrap up the game, I think. Shadow just appears back to the present riding a dinosaur. <laughs> 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 no, nah, that doesn't happen, unfortunately. No. <laughs> Should. I don't know, what are you referencing there? Or just... <laughs> um, I won't really reference oh. anything. I guess it could be um, a Beetlejuice quote if you um, watch the film. I uh, sort of know what you're right about, but... When she rides the worm back to yeah. kill Beetlejuice. What I'm thinking of is, there's this one picture I saw, like, it's a, a drawing someone's done, and I have no idea what the inspiration for it was, but it's somebody standing, playing a guitar in front of a rhino that the man happens to be kicking in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, I have no idea what the inspiration for this particular picture was. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like such a random ass picture that it just makes you think, everything on the internet that people have drawn, someone at some point has thought, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> people are gonna love this. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's a bloody good drawing. Like, the colouring style and that is great, but like, it's just, where did this come from? <laughs> That robot went completely off the screen as soon as you hit it. Oh shit! Unfortunately, they're not like the Mega Man robots that just stop bothering you as soon as they're off the screen. Oh, they're, right. they're so much easier to work with. Oh, there's a lot of <laughs> rain noise coming there. Yeah, you can probably hear like rain in the background yeah. now. It's coming down pretty yeah. Tired in that yeah. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That's the rain pretty much saying out of you. Yeah, yeah the rain just. Like, you want to make commentary in peace? No. <laughs> no. Wait, does this mean we've got to give him credit for the videos <laughs> as well? Like, <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that rain, though. Yeah. You know it's a bloody good game when we stop talking about the game entirely to comment on the weather. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, unlike the game, the weather is interesting. The weather changes from time to time, it's not just the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but so does Sonic franchise in general. Well, yeah, but uh, this game in particular is just the whole thing's the same over and over. God, that's really going down hard, isn't it? Oh, yes. Hi, uh, Quincy. You... Pointless. <laughs> But like, it actually goes borderline creepy the way he just seems to show up out of nowhere so many times, doesn't he? Because like, he was in that the base level where you Sonic was Amy, and he's just randomly showed up here. Yeah. And some of his dialogue here, like, he keeps going on about how Friendly. they're a team, they're friends. Like, <laughs> you barely had two scenes together. Yeah. But no, we've got to survive through the real superpower of teamwork. Yeah. You were trying to go through the pipes, weren't you? I was trying. Can you blame me for not remembering what I meant to do? <laughs> nah, sort of, because it's you. Well, uh, I don't exactly go out of my way to replay this game, you know that. <laughs> like, things like 06 and Shadow and to an extent Lost World, like, there's reasons to go back to them every now and then. This game, not so much. They've got like a whole kind of hexagon sort of motif going on with the laser gates, aren't they? Yeah. It's kind of interesting, but I'm not sure... Whose area is this? Is this lyrics? Yeah, because this is leading up to his whole huge robot army. 
Oh, Alright, so I'll take it this is like his base then. Yeah. Interesting. Pretty interesting base. Yeah, it's alright, from like a visual perspective at least. Doesn't doesn't look that all that convenient. <laughs> yeah, but he can fly, so. Well, yeah, there is that. It's not as stupid then as, like, this, say, the Ark. <laughs> yeah. With all this red and black, I'm just expecting for Ryoka to turn up as a mini boss. <laughs> Wasn't there like a game show called Red or, red or Black or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, didn't, yeah. that didn't do so well though. Now, what, what basically was the premise of that? It's like a poker oh. game of some sort. You oh, like right. take a chance who will win, like the red team or the black team or something mm. like that. Yeah, game shows and things that like I've never really I wouldn't say like I'm that big on them, but they're a great way to kind I of kill to, time. I used know. to love catchphrase a whole lot. Mm. That was like one of my favourite ones. One, one that I've I used to watch a lot of the kids, Crystal Maze. You know, yes, I love <laughs> Crystal Maze. I just love them like that. Just Brian. completely yeah. like random sort of stuff they got yeah. to do, like all the different challenges and that. Because them ones like they're not just like the box standard answering questions no. type of thing, are they? They're actually people going Pretty and good, having to yeah. do things, and I like to watch that. I was watching. I like the chase. I watched the chase a lot. Chase that good. one. Yeah. What are they doing that one? Pretty much, they answer questions. They get on a table and they face off against the chaser who's um, got multiple choice. They basically do multiple choice at the start mm. to build their cash up, and they go down the table until they get back. And then what happens is they've got to answer as many questions correctly as they can, mm. and it stops. And then the chaser's got to get up to that set target amount within two minutes. Oh, all right. So that's pretty much the whole premise. I love the kind of like wacky game shows, like not even like the old nineties ones or whatever. Yeah. Like the, the ones like, <laughs> there was that one a while back, weren't they? The hole in the wall. Oh, <laughs> like, what the hell that, was, that was uh, bring on the wall. Like, what the hell was that? About? <laughs> It was good to take the piss out of them. Well, yeah. yeah. See, you know, Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway, that's still just a thing for some reason, because there's a lot of variation in that thing. Yeah, that, that, that was more like a general chat show sort of thing, that they yeah. had like a little kind of competition element yeah, to it. Yeah, it's been it? gone for ages. Plus now yeah. they uh, prank celebrities, yeah. which is fun to watch. Uh, right uh, I'd like to star in the eyes when that was like, on in the 90s, not that's this the, version. Like. That's the like, one where they have to make themselves look like yeah. the person well, they're Yeah, the one who off, won yeah. this series was uh, Frankie Valley, which is, who is a brilliant sound. I yeah, don't when, know him. When you went up that pipe, there was a gap between the pipe that you brought along and the other pipe that, you can, that it was supposed to connect to. What, so you don't know of any of Frankie Valley song, like Sherry, Sherry Baby? I might know, like, if I were to hear it, I just can't think of uh, the name. Yeah. It's a few, Walk but, Like a Man, Big Girls Don't Cry. I sort of recognise the name, so I just can't put the song to it. It's really kind, of, kind of bugging me it's now. It's kind of a high-pitched singer. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. But this section. Yeah, another one of these, because this puzzle didn't get frustrating the first 17 it's, times. It, it, don't even call it a puzzle. <laughs> no. No, this one's more challenging because there's lasers. <laughs> this reminds me of the cube, actually. <laughs> uh, that's, no, the cube has challenge. Yeah, but yeah. no, yeah. Yeah, floor tiles. <laughs> I never really watched that. I know what the kind of premise is. Like, come to think of it, I was watching this thing the other day, like, it was really fascinating. It's, these people who almost got away, like, pulling off a cheat in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Well, they, what they did was that it was the bloke who was, like, on the programme, like, you know, answering questions and shit, and his wife in the crowd. Yeah. And there was one of the other guys in one of the people who's waiting to go on next thing when we have them like waiting yeah. around the arena don't they yeah. and they were timing their coughs yeah. like as he read out loud the <laughs> my man, that's that Charles Ingram quote and what's fascinating is not only like the, the scheme they had going in the first place but also there's this documentary where they the staff from the series were like deconstructing all the things that ticked them off about it yeah and little things like how they pay attention to the answer patterns of all the people who usually go on there. And so that they were clocked onto the fact that the fact he was reading out every answer, that was really unusual because most people kind of, they think out loud a bit when they're on them programs, but they don't kind of list them off in every question, do they? Yeah. Whereas what he was doing, he was listing out every question and yeah. waiting for the cough. And there's one that kind of, what was like the big thing that gave them away was at one point he kind of forgot to read out one of them and the one that he was reading out the bloke who was like in the 
backseat thing, like tipping them off, in, along with his coffee, just had like a really mumbled no sort of thing, like yeah. just trying to communicate. <laughs> And that sort of thing, you don't normally hear that on the programme because they normally turn that right down yeah, in the yeah. edited version, but they've got the mics going the whole time just because it's easier than having to turn them all off and turn yeah, them back yeah. on. So they had that mic recording. I do like to say, though, when I played through this section, it froze. Oh, right. <laughs> well, like, whereabouts? Like... It was right there, this section, just as I was doing the puzzle. Oh, right. And it just stopped as if the... My way you couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's when Nintendo go, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I restarted it, it started me at the beginning of the uh, red and black section. Yeah, because like, the checkpoints, they do actually act as save points, don't they, if you were to like, save the game there. Talking Which about um, who wants to be a millionaire, I've seen on uh, you know like on Google search and you mm. um, seen some really dumb like like <laughs> bells. It's mainly on the US version when yeah. they've gone home because they've done something really <laughs> stupid. That's where I saw one where one was asked what's heaviest of these objects, and there was the moon and an elephant. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the elephant. <laughs> My God. <laughs> good going, good yeah. game there. <laughs> The massive object in the sky! Of course it weighs less than an elephant. <laughs> yeah, totally makes it's sense. It's about a millionth of the size of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Majora's Mask cat queen. That's what I was actually thinking about, sky. Majora's Mask. <laughs> <laughs> like, we've had like, the elephant in the living room, now we've got like, the elephant in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Majora's Mask is just like, ah, the moon's He's falling. Going. Oh my god, somebody's dropping an elephant off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Can I just point out how frustrating this section is? Not because it's difficult, but because having to keep like jumping in between the things, it just takes so long. And that's why a lot of the time you saw me just saying, just sort of walk through the laser, because like, having to be precise where you jump is annoying. I've uh, beat two of the four dungeon bosses in uh, Majora's Mask, oh, right. actually. How yeah. does it hold up as a remake? Because you've played Pretty good. Well. I like it. I enjoy it. There's not really much to say that as a negative on it, because it's like a, pretty much the same thing as the GameCube version. Um, oh my god, it's moving <laughs> fast! Yeah. Yeah. If anything, I would say there's more of a positive in it. Yes. They've had a little bit extra in it because it's oh, a 3D remake. Yeah. Yes. A lot more, a lot more noticeable than the Ocarina of Time. I think mm. the only noticeable thing about that was you get the yeah. Sheikah stones that tell you mm. what to do. So Sorry, cut you off. What I was doing there, I was like this section here. I thought I was missing something. I thought I was meant to like hit a switch or something, but no, you just have to get it on that one specific section. It's one. Like there's probably only a few frames that you can kind of get away with starting to pull the lever on, but it's just it. Took me ages. Wow, nice work, <laughs> Best <laughs> friends. You've had about three <laughs> scenes together. You're not best friends. I can imagine him as a stalker. Now. We're yeah. friends forever yeah. and ever. His Hello, a friend. His AI is corrupt. <laughs> AI. What does the I stand for? Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Artificial idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would make an idiot? Uh, <laughs> look at you casually. <laughs> well, if we see some of the robot segments put out over the years, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got like that one robot, he's got the one towards the end of the neutral path of shadow, like it's got rockets in it and it's got a specific option to blow itself up. <laughs> As you do. It's made by Eggman. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Yeah. Is he made by Dr. Giroux? Eh? Well, it's a reference to Android 16 because he has a bomb fail safe in him so he can blow himself up. Oh, yeah. But it gets removed. As a last resort to kill his enemy. Yeah. Which he tries to do with Cell and that didn't really work yeah. so well. Fuck oh, are someone. we on Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah. Somebody, oh, right. <laughs> fuck, somebody's removed the bomb. <laughs> oh, sorry, look at that camera there. I like the Android 16, really. Yeah. He wasn't like a dick like the other androids. He was like a person who loved nature and that. He was more yeah. humane, you know? That camera for that last few minutes there, like, what the hell was I meant to do with that sort of hang? It's back to it. Like, it's too close. 
you got to get a good balance with camera angles, don't you? You don't want to be too far away because then you lose track oh, of your character, but you also don't want to be too... I don't close. know what happened just then. What did happen? I, I don't know. Oh. Uh, that's why I said I don't know what happened. In fact, um, the early teen series of Androids I thought were annoying more than a threat. I, I didn't really like Android 13. I don't think he's really a noticeable villain. Well, he was a movie villain, so... Yeah, but even as a movie villain, he wasn't that noticeable. Yeah. Do they do one of them things like where the films are kind of removed from the main yeah, series? Yeah, the Pretty films much. aren't canon or anything. Oh. Well, except for the most recent ones, because Akira Toriyama is making them. I should probably point out, I don't follow the series at all, so anything I try to say will sound like me spouting bullshit, so I'm not going to try to. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of find it interesting when you've got the, like, say, the Pokemon setup, where like you can't make out which of the films are canon and which not, because some of them, yeah. like, there are giveaways, isn't there? Like, the first film is canon. Cooler's Revenge isn't canon or anything, but it does tie up from events. Oh. Plus Bojack Unbound. Yeah, which is a good movie actually. I really yeah. like Bojack Unbound. Like, he wasn't a good villain, but he was a, he fit the role, role okay. And Wrath of the Dragon fits him well. Oh, was that Herodigan? Yeah. Yeah, but the villain doesn't really say anything at all, does it? Yeah. He's just pretty much, uh, yeah, this is giant creature, beat the shit out of yeah. it. Also, like every Pokemon film. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed, like, with a poster for the new, most recent one, like, there's just a whole load of legendaries on the front, isn't it? I like that. Uh, like, what I've noticed with most Pokemon films is you start, like, start off, and it's like Ash and friends are continuing on their quest, all that kind of crap, and then they meet a person, and it's like significant through the whole film. You know, then uh, it kind of like it introduces the this like legend, legend or myth or something, and then. It, there's like about 30 minutes straight of legendaries fighting, then everything goes back to normal. So I'm wondering where this new one. And what, someone dies. What, what and is Trickler's alternate form? What's its name? I don't know, but I think that's Resonant like 21 foot tall. Resonant form. form isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Hooper Unbound. Yeah, Hooper. This <laughs> reminds me of uh, like Bojack Unbound now. Yes. <laughs> but but that, that multiple arms of that, it just reminds me of Monsoon from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> oh, yeah. It yeah. looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like 21 foot. Oh, no, it? In fact, yeah. in fact, you um, sent me that picture of um, Hope Down Band, so I just replied with Monsoon, just like with his arms. Like, 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 what I find, like, I'm looking at that, am I thinking, am I going to have to climb up the back of this guy and stab salts in certain parts of his body? <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of vibe I get. To yeah. See, I can just imagine Monsoon as um, like Hoopla's Pokemon trainer now. <laughs> Well, I don't know, what's Arceus doing there? He's meant to have like thousands of arms, isn't he? But they don't. <laughs> you don't see what it. What the hell is Arceus? He's in his own dimension and then Hooper somehow breaking through into that. <laughs> How powerful is this shit? So I would actually like Hoopla because Hoopla actually does look really interesting yeah. like, in its basic form what? and its uh, unbanned form. What is the kind of mythos behind it? It, it, the only myth I was given behind it is that it's rich and it likes to create dimensions. Uh, Apparently, yeah. it took a whole castle. Is just it because a dark? It, it's a uh, ghost psychic at first, then it becomes ghost dark. No, psychic dark in its unbound form. Oh, that's an interesting kind of. But, but yeah, it's like apparently I think it took a castle because it had a treasure inside it. <laughs> will, will I be able to um, get it on like um, Wi Fi? At some point, I assume you will. It will probably be. Like I want to get it. I want to get it now. Though. It's unbound form was only is only in Aurus. Oh, okay. Um, what can you get it on X and Y and Aurus? You can get reg. Well, they found Hope and the other event legendaries in. Uh, See, I can't get the answer now. Have you got the answer? I haven't got the answer. But how do you get that? Uh, that was an event for Aurus. Was it a game? Yeah. What I've got to say is that now now we've got like patching on the 3DS, there shouldn't be any kind of compatibility yeah. bollocks. What like. is the answer anyway? Rock Fairy? Yeah, it's, it's, it's considered an evolution of uh, carbon. Yeah, well, it's like a kind of deformed a mutation. Like, yeah, mutation of it. Which is kind of an interesting yeah. concept for a legendary actually, because like, it takes makes a difference to the whole like clone thing that they're going with Mewtwo and Genesect. Mm. I really should play X and Y again to capture the Pokemon. 
I really need someone to trade Pyro with me because I fucking love Pyro. Pyro is a great design. It is. Like, I like the male one that has like the huge the mane on it. Like, I had the lioness, but yeah. I want the male one as well. Mm -hmm. Lysander like, just reminds me of like a human Pyro. <laughs> yeah, so, but with his stupid hair and that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take a guess. He star side is Leo. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, there's probably some like canonical response to it, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, Still, Pyro's mane isn't as fabulous as Amphabulous. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I don't really get the point of that what one. What is Luxray anyway? Is that a lion? I think so. I always saw it as more of a cat, given like it's six a, it's or a, lions like, are. Cats. Yeah, the like maybe like more <laughs> electric of a, lime, more of kind of domesticated type thing. Given like Shinx I looks saw like it, yeah, but it is an awesome looking Pokemon. Yeah. So like, there's always going to be the argument over like what the like Entei Swicking Raikou. I really, like, I think be. it'd be awesome if they did a mixture of um, like Pyro and Luxray, and mm -hmm. they did an electric fire line. <laughs> I want to see it. That would be great. Fire type. Yeah, be very weak to ground moves, but still worth yeah. it. <laughs> What's the, Have they not done an electric farm? No. They should. Yeah, it's like two interesting elements that work together. I really like electric. Yeah, I like um, electric campfires. Well, electric campfire. well electric. fire and water will be a thing at some point yeah. when Volcanium is released. Yeah. Fire and so water. What, what, yeah. what is he basically like a steam Pokemon? Then? Yeah, it's got a steam eruption, yeah, which but... is basically a super powered version of uh, Scald. It didn't make you the door though, so I can't make a free <laughs> reference though. Yeah, so, so that someone hacked uh, it so that uh, Mega Blastoise could use Steam Eruption. <laughs> and it comes yeah. out perfectly yeah, yeah, yeah. from. Yeah, you know you're on about Steam Eruption. Um, Volcanion, OT, Gabe Newell. <laughs> 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 It'll get a second form and then people will be waiting for a third one. <laughs> yeah. It'll never yeah. come. <laughs> Quite annoying. Been waiting half its life for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Uh, I'm sorry, except I'm sort of not. <laughs> Hooper's gotten a second form and it can create portals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <a> third one. <laughs> well, to be fair, Portal Two did kind of conclude, so there's no real need for a yeah. third game. Like, quite it would be pretty interesting if there was one, but they'd have to like have someone Space. else in action <laughs> science and that. Yeah, and then Diarty. I can't relate that to anything. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the uh, animation they did for Aorus, where it's showing off all the Mega Evolutions. It showed uh, Mega Gallade versus Diancy. It's like, seen that, I don't it's like Diancy creates a diamond sword and starts fighting it. It's oh, only right. for a split second, yeah. it's just like, I want more of this. Yeah. <laughs> I want this. I say Hoopla's the more. And the, the, I like Hoopla the most out of the three. There's yeah. also a clip in it where it's uh, Mega Glalie versus Mega Steelix. Yeah. And Mega Glalie just bites the side <laughs> yeah. of Mega Steelix's face yeah. and Steelix just smacks it. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, I was having this discussion with Steve, but I personally, you know when they say it's the three dogs, I yeah. think it's two cats and one dog because... Hentai is a lion. Hentai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's a word uh, slip if you ever Ray, Ray yeah. is uh, a tiger and Suicune is uh, a wolf. See, to me, I'd always seen Entei as a big dog. No, it looks yeah. more like a lion. I get what you mean, but it, I it's kind half, of see it's like, half and half, I think. Yeah, like, I was kind of see like from mainly like the coloration. It looks like one of them Afghan hound type oh, yeah. kind of things. I've seen people call them the legendary. Yeah, but Raikou, right, anyway, you kind yeah. of is uh, a tiger. Yeah, it's it's more cat than dog. Yeah. Raikou is, but yeah, Suicune is just pretty much a wolf, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a wolf. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen people call them the legendary gerbils. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a thing. The legendary legendaries of legendariness. <laughs> oh yeah, part finished ages ago, didn't it? Yeah, sweet, <laughs> having a fucking field day out there. Yeah. <laughs>